Peter, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So, I drove to work this morning? <laughs> <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee? <laughs> so, there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. Okay, you all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? Peter, this is our niece, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm getting up. Hi, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. <laughs> Crafty Mexicans and your glass candy. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Learn to live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the North, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! And the worst thing is, that he he's not even a douche. He's a, he's a nice guy. I like him. Oh, honey, that sounds awful. I know what'll cheer you up. You want to scratch my pet rabbit Steven on his nose with your index finger? I like rabbits, because you can pull their ears back and make them look like Asian people. Da -na 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 -na. Give me color! Give me redis! <laughs> no, Connie, beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls, let's go upstairs and make out! <laughs> oh no, Connie's been hurt! I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon! Oh, I think we got to the root of the problem, didn't we, Lois? Absolutely. All right, let's dope her up good. Turn that mouth off. No, Peter, the problem is you. What? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be my friend. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people! Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack! Yo. You 5 -oh. No, I'm 87, but how flattering. Now, give me drugs, scummy drug dealer. You got it, mayor of our city. Mm. I wonder which of us is the bigger criminal. Oh, that's easy, you are. Hey, can you teach me to sell drugs? Yeah, well, thanks to you, I lost her to Cleveland. You know what you need? You need to stop pointing fingers and get out of the house. Have some fun, real fun. Not like 37-year-old woman on a blind date fun. Oh, this is fun, right? We're having fun. I mean, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No, I just felt like killing. Ah! Uh, oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best time. Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. Hey, thanks for helping me pick out a new computer, you guys. Oh, no problem, Quagmire. God, this place is always so crowded. We gotta find someone who works here. Can I help you, sir? Sorry, all I got is a quarter, pal. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, my buddy here is looking for a computer. I would like to elect you president. Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Oh my god, I can't believe I stole this! You know what? I don't feel bad. That woman's a nightmare. <gasps> Ooh, I should text this to my best friend. Sick brooch! Adam, are you done with that mayor homework yet? It's called a bill, Mom. Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn!
Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you, and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? You guys are right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. What are you doing? You gonna get a new phone while we're here? Maybe, but I gotta see which one I wanna take in and out of my pocket every 30 seconds for the next six years. What do you think, Peter? Peter? I touched the iPhone headphone. Mom, Dad, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. This is Mistress Vida. We met on Craigslist. No talking unless I say... Hi, Peter. How'd she know your name? Peter, are you just trying to take a knee until the end of the show? Peter, that's not gonna work. Okay, so here's your game. I'm I'm drunk, and I'm gonna throw the football too hard at my kids. Oh, Dad, do we have to... <coughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Game's over if you cry. I want you to learn about life, Chris, because in life, it's like this. Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, gig, good -gi -gi -gi. Okay, skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. Uh, ow! 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 My balls! Oh, the other ones. Ow! 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 Okay, now we've got him. The real Carter would never go to a Starbucks. He thinks they're too liberal and pretentious. Coffee for Brent? <laughs> Latte for Cecil? <laughs> Beanie? <laughs> None of those people are real! I'm stealing all your sugar packets and napkins! Woodstock's over! Peter, what are you doing? I'm running away! Why? Because you took away my brother! You ruined my life! Adam and I were gonna be brothers forever, and now he's gone! All you got there is toys and cans of tuna fish. Well, I gotta eat, and I gotta have fun. Peter, you're just acting out. No, I'm not. I'm acting in. Okay, now you're just saying the opposite of what I say. No, I'm not. I'm saying the same as what you say. Peter! Lois! God. A la Chris! Stewie! Oh, my God! All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you did when your goldfish died. Here you go, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. It's okay. You don't have to eat it now. You're just sleeping. You'll eat it later. You'll eat it later, Lieutenant Shiny Sides! Ah! Oh, hey, Stewie. Hey, sometimes when daddies drive home drunk, they come from far away places, but it's okay because they didn't get arrested and they're still kind of drunk, so they, they think it's okay. You should know that Mom has emotionally let you go. It won't be long before she takes a lover. Oh, my head! She already has two cell phones. Hey, did you see those pictures of me doing duck lips by a pool? I don't know, some island. Shh! You rebel scum! <laughs> yeah, you're too young, you don't know. You going fishing again? Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? 
You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. No more bets. The money you could have gone to your kids is gone. No more bets. The money you worked hard for is gone. Fools, fools, fools. Ooh, double zero. Nobody thinks about that one. And guy walks quickly away from table without a word replaced by an older white man with a much younger black woman. No more bets. No more bets. That's not possible. Ha <laughs> Brian, stupid. I must alert the townsfolk. Yeah! Fly, Artemis, fly! Ark townsfolk, Brian, uh, he, oh, damn, what was it, Brian? Brian goes to college? No. Brian gets another book published? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Tell all that Brian's getting another book published. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to be a mega episode all throughout. <laughs> That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you... Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Hey, Lois, guess who made 15 baskets in a row at the county fair? Some kid we beat up. Oh, what a great day. Had enough yet? Yes. I don't know how you do it. Everything he does is exhausting. Even something as simple as going to the bank. Meg, you've probably wondered from time to time how on earth I pay for all my shenanigans. Well, I'm going to show you. This is a robbery! Everybody get on the ground! If this bitch moves, shoot him in the eye! Dad, I don't want to do this! You have to! Next week, we're buying a zebra! Dad! There's no time to argue. We got 150 seconds before the police respond to the silent alarm. Now check those bags for dye packs. <laughs> Who's the manager here? I, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? You said if he moves, shoot him! He's the only one with a combination that is safe! It's blown! It's blown! This whole operation is blown! I'll get the car. Kill everyone up. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sending a selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam! Please don't, Please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam! And send! You son of a bitch! I told you! What did he do now? He don't listen to you! He don't listen to you! And this is a 74 Pinot Noir. Mmm, lovely. Carter, did you tell your son-in-law he's not supposed to swallow the wine? Hey, hey where, where the hell is that Peter Griffin? He said he'd give me $100 if I took off all my clothes off. Peter, I want you to meet your family. Your... my family? That's right. These are your children. Dad, I'm Chris. I I'm your son. Never seen you before in my life. Wow, then I must be invisible! Hey, everybody, I'm invisible! Oh, no, you're not. Hot diggity. Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all got to move on, like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm going to turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars. Good evening. I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for women everywhere, and also the Jews. Good night. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You, what? Why? I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? Nice. Wow, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter, one more day. Yay! I saw what I looked like in a car window, and now I don't want to go. Well, this is a charming, rough neighborhood, isn't it? Lewis, I'm going to start a screaming match with that black gentleman down on the sidewalk. Hey! Get away from my steps, motherfucker! Hey, fuck your mama! Fuck your mama, asshole! Fuck you! Fuck you back! Oh, well, that was fun. And then somebody replaced Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. 
people are going to miss me when I'm... I guess you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. Peter, how long do we have to sit here? Until I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches! Hey, I didn't know you guys work out here. Yeah, it's a weekly regimen. Come on, come on, Cleveland, push it. Come on, come on, push it, push it, push it. Come on, it's all you, it's all you, it's all... Hey! Glan, 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 glan! Will you guys quiet down? I'm trying to concentrate on my cardio. This is terrible! I can't be short! I'll be an outcast like Rudolph the Uncircumcised Reindeer! Look, Rudolph, it's not me, all right? It's Dasher. He's been complaining, and he is the one who has to look at it all night. I don't know. Mrs. Claus says it'll decrease my sensitivity. I'm, I'm sorry, why are you talking to my wife about this? Holy crap, evil Knievel gloves. I bet I could do a wheelie with these. How much for the gloves? Peter, those are yours. Ten bucks. Two, seven, four, five fifty, ten. Sold. Check it. I would have gone to fifteen easy. I am so stupid. Awesome. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <gasps> get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! Wow, Brian, you've had quite a string of female guests spend the night lately. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> He's a worse accomplice than Johnny Windchimes. Hey! Shh! Sorry, it's my chimes! You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day! Thanks, everyone! Goodbye, Mom! Goodbye, Dad! Goodbye, friends! Goodbye, free time! Farewell, sex! So long, golf on TV! I'll miss you, privacy! Goodbye, being honest about how many beers I've had! Nice knowing you, my own choices! See you later, money! Guys, I gotta help Meg get into a good college. All right, Peter, what's going on? Well, truth be told, Meg wants me to give her a bunch of money so she can go to college. And I guess, I guess I'd rather spend that money on alcohol. Peter, you know, where's the bottle of wine I told you to bring? Cleveland makes more money than me now, Lois. That means we're sneaking groceries out of this party, not bringing them in. Damn it, we can't show up to a dinner party without a $14 empty gesture. It's improper. We need to give them something. Fine. Here. We brought these. They're lovely. We now return to Bottom Chef. Daniel L., please pack your fudge and go. Fine. Well, there goes my music career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a Sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. I am gonna make this family proud. And not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it! I'm gonna be on TV! Did you kill the others? I shan't. You must. I'm gonna go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nuthouse. Hi, Peter Griffin, leering dad. A quick question. In Shake It Off, you invite us to get down to, quote, this sick beat. Yet the beat you then provide is rather mild. My question is this. May I lick your legs? Hi, Taylor. Stewie Griffin. I'm your biggest fan. I, I don't mean that like a psycho. I just... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a psycho. Oh, you're a cutie. Okay, so let's talk about Harry Styles. Now, you don't have to say anything. I'm just going to slowly pull out this tape measure, and you indicate when I should stop. Okay, here I go. Still going. Still going. Oh, my God, you bitch. Seriously? Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. Gee, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Well, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. <gasps> Any cards, Peter? No, I'm good. Well, Lois?
I am now a graduate of the Quahog Police Academy and an official on-duty cop. Oh, I can't believe I'm married to a big, scary police officer. Just keep your eyes on the eggs, ma'am. <laughs> yes, officer. Oh, you are such a dirty cop. Don't break those yokes, ma'am. Oh. oh, my God, Lois, I hit you. I know. Now stick your finger in there and twist it. Wow, Quagmire's got a nice place. <sighs> this is going to be a relaxing weekend. Spare some change? Sure. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. Hope. Don't spend it all in one place, Raggy. Hang on to something, because this ride's about to get rougher than dating a hot girl with a bad laugh. I really like you, Sandy. I really like you, too, Peter. Yeah? You like it when I kiss you here? <laughs> yeah. How about here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, I'm too... <laughs> oh, my God, Dad. What's on your face? Meg, it goes by Meg. Many names. Soup strainer, lip whiskers, and until recently, giant horse vagina. But I prefer the term mustache. Oh, I think it's sexy. I think it's gay. It's not gay, Brian. If I'm gay, then Freddie Mercury was gay. Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen? He was incredibly gay. He was not. He had a mustache, which is practically like a wedding ring. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Dad, where are you going? Wearing a vest means I'm a failed actor who teaches acting in a city that's not New York or L.A. All right, Shreveport Community Center, listen close, for I shall teach you the acting craft. Hey, didn't my husband chase you away from our recycling bin? Use that! And the award for Best Actress goes to Susan Davis for Get Away From My Recycling Bin, You Fat Failed Actor. She used it. Hi, you having a good night? I did. Just had a devil's three-way. You know, me and two guys. I think that's just gay sex. Why are you telling me all this? Isn't this taxi cab confessions? No, this is carpool karaoke. We're about to sing an Adele song. Oh, that's gay. Pull over by this hot guy and let me out. 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. Name something you might say to a damned spot. Out. Good answer. Ah, yeah, good, answer. Yeah, good, answer. good answer. Show me out. What? That's impossible. Romeo, name something you might say to a damned spot. Hello. What? I know this audience. Of course it was hell. Of course it was. I really don't know where socks come from. No idea. Did they come from trees? From bushes? I don't know. Get a hole in one, new pair shows up in my drawer. Just like that. Food, do. I chucked the mustard onto the front lawn last week. That night, back in a fridge. That would be kind of nice. Listen, stick with me. We're going to have a great adventure, like the astronaut who thinks the lowest number is three. And lift off in five, four, three, Whoa! two, one. Lift off. Men, tonight you will have one last night of peace. I won't lie to you. A hotel guest has no regard for your life. That means some of you will not be coming back. Those who do will never be one color again. Now, here are your assignments. Anderson, your late night vomit. Russo, you'll be in the ladies' room. Ooh. All right, knock it off, at ease. Edwards, you're gonna be folded into a monkey at the foot of the bed and then on. Look at Edwards, he's into it. Ooh. At ease. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just came to clear the search history off my computer before the IT guy... Oh, he's already got it. Boy, you're really all in on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. Hey, Quagmire, you're a sex guy. You watch any good, uh, pornos lately? I mean, I, I guess. So what's your pleasure? What kind of movies do you like? I don't know. MILF stuff's kind of cool. What, what about you? Uh, me? I have very particular tastes. I like a soapy bottom. What? A soft core soaped up butts, like from a PG-13 camp movie. I can't get enough of it. Drives me wild. Okay, let's talk about something else. Uh-oh. Stand back. The pitching machine is the only plumber we'll need. Lois! Lois! 
Lois! Lois! Lois! Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies non-stop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. Gretchen? Wow, you look great. Yeah, I didn't have kids. Oh, yeah, of course. But what the hell are you doing here? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Peter, I finally got your letter. You know, the one where you said that you were having doubts about marrying Lois, and you still had thoughts about marrying me? Gretchen, I wrote that a long time ago. Well, my answer is yes, Peter. Yes, I will marry you. Gretchen, I am already happily, moderately hap relative. I am, I am married. Oh, then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gross! Will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah, he's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But, Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. You have more than one shed? Of course, you always need an extra shed. I even got one shed that just has an extra shed in it. You guys talking about sheds? Hell yes, I love my sheds. Me too. High five on sheds. Sheds! Sheds! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Where the hell's Peter? I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. I can't even remember why I sleep in this belt anymore. Hey, Chris, don't tell your mom I threw up in the crock pot. Peter, it's me. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Chris something gross. Just come to bed. All right, fine, but I'm not gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna fart super hot. Get up. You're on my side of the bed. Peter! We act like we didn't take a lot from The Simpsons, but we took a lot from The Simpsons. God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Where the hell'd they go? Oh, whoops. It was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. Can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. 
Oh, my God, that's terrifying. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job. You're doing it. Bamba. Ooh, so close. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. I'm gonna call Mahmood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. I'll hey, drive! <laughs> Okay, you're good to go. We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Can I do Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Allahu Akbar! Get home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, cause I used to worship Summer! Waka waka! <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab... How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him and there was nothing funny about him at all. But you've missed so much! Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! I'll be with Allah soon. What? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's delirious. Look, you better get moving. All right, Stewie, let's go get the sleigh ready. Is anyone else a little freaked out by that Allah thing? Never mind that. Let's just get going. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al Qaeda. Here, make sure you get all this. Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed Atta stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. <laughs> Houston, we have a solution. Houston's for space, not everyday air travel. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> Wow, what a hero. Coming up next in sports, Arizona Cardinal Pat Tillman, tackled by his own team. Oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. We miss! Thanks, Mom. Did I do good? Can I wear Grandpa's jacket now? I, I don't know why you always ask for that. That's, that's not a thing in our family. But we should get you a haircut and clean this house up. The dance is in a few days. Yeah, I wish I could help, Lois, but I'm a little busy being an Uber driver now. Wait, are you the one who took my car? I reported it stolen. Ah, oh, well, that explains that high-speed chase yesterday. Brian, you caused a man to be run over in a phone booth. What was a guy doing in a phone booth? Why, waiting for drugs, of course. Hey, uh, Stilts, on your way out, could you get a wiffle ball out of our gutter? It's been up there for like three months. I threw it at a bee. Why do you have a will on here? When you die, we bury you in the garden so we get better tomatoes. We now return to CNN's continuing coverage of the rescue of Guy Fieri's toilet. What you're looking at is live footage from Guy Fieri's house where this toilet's 12-year ordeal has just come to an end. Toilet, what was it like after he ate those dragon chili cheese fries? Look, I can't talk right now. I just need to get something solid in me for once. Really? How could my own parents do this to me? I'd be better off with Mr. and Mrs. Aguilera. Okay, so we'll name it Michael if it's a boy, and Christina if it's a nightmare. We now return to Finding Your Roots on PBS. So, Danny DeVito, what do you know about your heritage? Not much. Our family photos were all burned in a fire. I think we came from Sicily. Well, we have a surprise for you. Your great-great-grandparents were a pumpkin and a hamburger. They're beautiful! I can't believe this! I'm made of the best fillings of ravioli! Oh, crap, I better get out of here. Here comes CSI Missouri. Looks like someone done dang got himself killed. Well, I reckon one thing. Somebody's going up the river.
the mighty Mississippi. Hey, I was thinking of heading down the river. You want to go halvesies on a raft? Sure, but can you spot me? I've never been paid, ever. Yeah, I got it. Okay, it says Armin is arriving with our raft right now. You, Huckleberry? All right, Lenny, this looks good. Now, the trick to getting off a moving train is waiting for the exact right... Ow! Whew. Now I know why that railroad was called the B&O. It stands for Baltimore and Ohio! Whoa, calm down. No, mental defectives know a lot about trains! I'm saying I'm done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay 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 ay! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, a boom shadow from the sound guy we can't fire because his wife died. There it is. But first, Quahog says goodbye to an old friend. Oh my god, I just got four more matches! This is amazing! This is the greatest invention since the firecracker! Gentlemen, after many years of research, we finally did it. We've solved the problem of too many fingers in Florida. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Ah! Okay, that is the last time you are gonna pull that crap. You hear me? Yes! Do you hear me? Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes! Now go ahead, Charlie. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. All right, everything worked out. And everyone's just standing around doing nothing, like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give him the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter well, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? We missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron, so we're at Farrell's Ice Cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. ...to do something different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? It's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. What? Drugging a baby? My god, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick out his own glasses. 
No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Perfect. Ah, like Christopher Columbus. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all going to be worth it. Trust me, because the spices here are amazing. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo, as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. You're in for some pain, but when I'm done with you, you'll be a helpful dog, like one of them St. Bernards with a mini cask of brandy. Help! I've broken my leg! Okay, well, I have a scumbag's fancy drink. I know, it's great! And with all the time Brian is saving me, I've been able to spend more time working with my foundation that gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all, like, one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Boy, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives Lois orgasms. What is in here? The soap. The little tray the soap was on. And the sink. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hello, white kids and Indian kid adopted by neighborhood gays. Quick announcement before we get started. Uh, this is the last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Oh, Asher, let's get you one. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> ah! You think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Look, there they are! Just wanted to wish you guys luck. Hey, I've always wondered, why the turtlenecks? Oh, these? Well, we like the look, it's drafty on stage, and we all have Aryan Nation tattoos on our necks. Break a leg! Ugh, Brian's not qualified to work at a hardware store. That'd be like having a timid clansman. I just think you should get out of town. I think it would be so great if you went back to where you came from. Okay, here goes nothing. Can I help you? Lemon squares? Keep the pan. He's gonna stay. Oh, fiddlesticks.
Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. Come on, Stewie! Forget it! Ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... If I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're going to die alone, you dick. Oh, thank God she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Hey, Chris, have you seen my frat? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Hi, Stewie. I love your house. Where are your servants? They're in the kitchen being groped by Arnold Schwarzenegger. May I offer you an iced tea? Shut the door! It's all right. I'm probably better off in my old school anyway. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal and we... I know what he was doing, and I don't like it. I figured fancy guys like you only drink in hotels. The hotel threw me out. I used a mustard bottle to write Dallas Portland's a dick on the wall. Oh, yeah, I did that once at a hotel, but it was pee and I didn't write anything. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. If you or a loved one have been prescribed the drug Luxanol and experienced facial bloating, ear leakage, and spontaneous mouth bleeding, you may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Why is there never any programming for me? We're done! Cleveland, slam the door! Now lock all our city black person locks! Our house is also a liquor store. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven we'd all get iPhones, but... He never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, Death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. Well, as I understand it, Daddy's cheer squad had another failed dismount. We know that we are the B-E-S-T! Brittany, you dumb slut! I said I was gonna cradle out! How did you not hear me? That's right! Chris is my new heir! And now to show you my overwhelming love and affection. Okay, that's enough. You're not my wife. Anyway, I want you to have the money. You're the only person who understands this crazy world. Except for maybe Anne way too frank. Dear Diary, when this war is over, I'm gonna get a cucumber and work it into a pickle. And you can take that to the Bank of Berlin. 
Phew, good thing no one's ever gonna read this. Look at this 1940s tampon. I know. Isn't that something? That's how they used to do it back then. It's just sawdust in a burlap sack. You had to jump on it from a second floor window. We'll take it to Gross Will. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. It's weird being here without Grandma. I keep thinking she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Oh, honey, I, I know, but I'm afraid she's dead. This is real life, not some magical fairy tale. And so... Okay, wait, 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 look, 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 look. There's... there's something about death that I didn't tell you before because... Kids aren't supposed to know about it till they get older. Ooh, an adult secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when someone dies, uh, they, they actually do go somewhere. Uh, uh, heaven. Really? What's it like? Well, first of all, you can have any hairstyle you want instantly. You, you don't have to go through that awkward growing it out phase. But do you still get to go to the salon? Of course, you have to get it set. And everyone in heaven only speaks English. None of those mumbly, yelly languages. What about clicky, flemmy ones? No, none of those either. And every corner has a fire and ten fire engines putting it out. Do they have a person to ring the bells? No, they need someone to do that. Oh, that's my thing! All right, here I come! Well, wait, hang on. You, you, you can't kill yourself, though, because, because they don't let you in if you do that. So Brody Jenner's not going to be there. What? He didn't kill himself. He didn't? Oh, no. So he's choosing to live as Brody Jenner? That's so sad. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Oh, great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Ugh, the elevator's taken forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. Hey, I'd like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Wow! There's something in it this year! Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. There's only one rule here at Peach Blossom Plantation, Stewie. Courtesy. Well, I got a confession to make, Daddy Johnson. I got a hankering for some mischief. Well, now that's in direct conflict with the rule. My rule is honesty. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it don't mean I doesn't love you, Daddy Johnson. Oh, Stewie, you done gone and buried your way into my heart like a field mouse. But I still gots to discipline you. Should I strip to my ankles, Daddy Johnson? I was just gonna give you a talking to, but yeah, just shoes and socks, Stewie. I like the South. We got different ways than they do up North, but it seems to work for everyone. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Oh, uh, yeah. This episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Macmillan Mass Grave Excavation Equipment. When you think mass graves, think Macmillan. <coughs> it's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? <coughs> I was born nine times that day. Don't worry, Lois. I'm gonna find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. You know what, Peter? Maybe we can give you a hand. Yeah, we'll help you look. I'm in. All right, guys, let's solve this mystery. And you kids at home can help us solve the mystery, too. Just go to FamilyGuyKids.com. Aw, oh, it's just someone crapping in his hand. All right, now you gotta get in good with Heather's family. If her parents like you, she's gonna want to sleep with you. Mr. Garbage, I appreciate that I'm a guest in your home, but Barack Obama is still my president, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit here and let you talk about him like that! Shut up, Heather! I am talking to your father! And you, Mrs. Garbage, I'll thank you to stop sticking your foot in my crotch! And Jimmy Jr., just tell him you're gay! It's so obvious! Peter, is Chris still in bed? Oh, I hope he didn't take it too hard when you made him get rid of that doll. Oh, God!
Good morning, everybody. Heather won't be having breakfast. She already had a big sausage. Oh, wait, so we do have sausage? Because I asked for sausage, and I was given bananas and applesauce. Why did we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. <laughs> well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. We now return to Sassy Sitcom Secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey, Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was, I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel, and we're making out. Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. All right, what better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's so hot out. Why is parking downtown? Who gets married on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh? Somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God. Uh-oh. Looks like the mob knew we were coming. It's him! Get him! Oh no! We're done for! No, we're not! I'm the fastest Jew in the world! old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. Hmm, huh, that's curious. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh no, that's, that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. Oh my god. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. I like the hat and I like the scarf, so we're doing this. And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? Right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now, everyone off to gym class. All right, today we're going to play soccer. That was easy. Oh, hang on. Before we do anything, I'd like to say a blessing over the candles, if I may. Now, bear with me. I haven't had much rehearsal time. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddishanu B'Mitzvatov V'Tzivanu Lehad Lekneer Shel Yom Tov Can we just eat? Ian, we could spend the rest of our lives here. It's perfect. Sounds good to me. Doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with this place. Hello, everybody. Yeah! Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is a Disney universe. Oh, but look how shiny my buttons are here. Just push the... Yeah, okay, okay, I'll push the thing. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth... 
and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse. Ha -ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. I, I, excuse me. Uh, we're, we're looking for a Mr. Goldman. Mr. Mort Goldman. He's a small business owner. Tends to whine a lot. Kind of a hypochondriac. Oh no, you, you can't put your hand back up after you've put it down. You know